Well, everyone, we're at the shop. Of course, we're getting stuff done. And uh, look what we just found. That's all we to do. Bent axle. Uh, Corey believes him and a lap cart touch each other down the front stretch. Um, we normally run pins here, and for some reason we didn't put a pin in there, so Corey's wondering if it pushed the bar in, which then allowed the wheel to his left rear or yeah his left rear basically to slap your right rear and yep. the axle so <laughs> we got a full yeah we got a full setup ready to go so uh yeah this is why you check things in the shop right so all right well got a little more added work now to this cart because we were just basically like hey we got a quick game plan this one's ready to scale so hey is what it is everyone Saturday morning, getting ready for MTS, so we're going to do work. Well, everyone, welcome to night number four, Mississippi Thunder Speedway. As you see, I'm literally walking on the track. That is because... It is time to do some rookie cage racing. Uh, it has been a very extremely busy day. I'm on about two hours of sleep. Uh, we found a bent axle on Momo's cart, so we switched that in the shop. Got everyone scaled, fired up the brand new, well, brand new to us used engine for uh, animal engine for autumn. Scaled, got here an hour late. Got a lay on on the track, same with Autumn, same with Dad, because he's running a Predator tonight, so it's just been busy, so. Start of the vlog, Rookie Gages are racing, so wish Leona luck on her first race of the 206. I would say that was a very good first heat race for her in this brand new motor. Um, the throttle is very touchy. I mean, you literally barely move it like a quarter inch. Um, talking to Taylor, he was telling me about Faster Motors has this throttle linkage set up for juniors with the, the long red slides. So I was hoping to get that today and I didn't. I'll get it Monday, so I'll have to get it ready so she has better throttle control because basically, like I said before in my vlog, She's an on-off switch. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go debrief, see what she thinks, and go from there. All right, well, I just got done adjusting the idle on uh, 
Leona's cart. Um, uh, I think she's off playing with friends now, and looks like Mama's gonna adjust to change her visor to the clear one. Um, I think she had fun. Uh, again, she's getting used to the speed. I think she did good for her first race with that. Uh, I could hear the lifting. Um, I think it's just confidence getting the feel of the cart now with that much speed. Um, I did make some air pressure changes. I moved to the left rear end. I'm unfortunately basically maxed out on my cross with this thing. Um, so if I continue to keep getting having loose conditions, I might have to add weight to the rear of it. I'm gonna have to get a little creative on putting weight on the cart. Uh, so, but up next, Autumn. Uh, if you can zoom in, there she is there. There's Bentley and Leona. And she is getting ready to race. And then the old man is afterwards. I don't even know where I start. I'll have to look it up. Huh. So, and then there's three races after the Predator, which we did drop a gear on that. So it's pretty close to my gearing. Hi. 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 Uh, and then the, the boys go out in the 206s. I don't even know how many we got and where you start. So I'll have to jump on my race back and see. So with that, I'm gonna send you off to Autumn. Wish Autumn good luck in her first heat race with the uh, animal motor.
had a good run. A lot of power, she's still getting used to it. We got a tweak on the chassis. Track was very dry though. Dad uh, did very good in his first heat race in the Predator. We dropped the tooth. I think we're gonna drop another tooth or two because uh, he said he was possibly fluttering at the end. So just gotta find the gear, gear ratio. So congrats to Rayleigh on the heat win. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing set up so he can, uh, they can battle it out in the future. So up next now is the uh, 206 Heat 1. Uh, there's seven of them tonight. Dad starts dead last. Corey starts sort of outside in six. Let's, uh, let's see how they're doing. Let's go have some fun, all right? Great with Leona, she's getting ready to run her heat number two. Um, made a game plan with Dad's Predator. We're actually dropping another gear with him. To get a little more straightaway speed. Uh, chassis wise, he wants to leave it, so we're gonna keep keep the chassis how it is. Um, Autumn, we're dropping a gear. Uh, and we're gonna add a washer cross, tighten her up. Corey, we're gonna remove a right rear weight because we actually had the weight on there because he was, the scales were for the past few weeks, he was, uh, 10 pounds difference compared to ours at home. So we're taking that because now he's reading correctly and we're gonna make a half pound change on the air pressure, drop a gear and send it. And the old man, we're dropping a gear and uh, still still contemplating what I want to do for chassis. So, but uh, that's kind of the synapse what's been going on. There's the old man making all these faces and stuff. So I think he's waiting to talk to me. Don't forget to switch your transponder to your predator. So yeah, there you go. All right, the Otis seat two coming up, wish you luck.
I will say, in my opinion, she was a lot faster that run. I could see each lap she'd accelerate more and more with that power of that motor. I asked her if she could go full throttle all the way around, and she says she's a little nervous. That is totally fine. I'm going to let her keep going within her comfort level. She'll get it. I ain't worried. We got motor now. She's clearly fast enough when she hits the power, so she keeps kind of getting in her her comfortability and she'll be right there so proud parent again now i'm gonna drag my butt up this track and get to the pit so i'll be back Well, Adam did a good job. She still looks a little loose. We're gonna have to work on that, but I think she got uh, sixth or fifth or sixth at the at the line. So we'll keep tweaking it. I thought Jeff would uh, water the track, and he didn't. I'm shocked. All right, everyone. Well, Predators, we're getting close. Uh, we dropped him a tooth. He got a little more speed, but he's still fluttering. Our buddy Josh, who we're helping get in, into the sport, um, he's over here hanging out with us tonight he's been just a superb help this this whole day uh, he's been with us since 10 o'clock today helping us get these cards switched over from rice lake to here so he's i got him over there changing um changing the gear in the back and then i'm gonna slip the clutch off and throw a different driver on it and see if we can get a little more speed out of this but these predators are damn near the same lap times as we are on the 206s right now so if we can get a group of them this could be a good class here so um but up next we're at the grid now for uh, Heat 2 of the Sportsman Division, the, the boys share the, the front row. Uh, old man's got pull, Corey's got outside pull. So uh, we're testing a different clutch on Corey right now. Miss Chad Tyrus uh, gave us one to give it a shot. Uh, we're just kind of testing it to see. Um, Corey wants another run to get some more data on it. And uh, I'll let him and, and uh, Shane B. Brock over at uh, 50 Clutches let him know what we think of it. And uh, we might. Uh, let them tune one for us and throw it on but uh we're just we're just kind of testing and tuning and trying stuff so we're just having fun we made all the changes jeff actually just watered the track i'm surprised he hasn't watered it yet but i'm guessing he waited till the sun has literally dropped now he's watering it should hold some moisture so um so yeah so we're gonna get ready and do some racing so uh heat two of the sportsman's coming up wish the boys luck
Uh, I haven't talked to Corey, but it sounds like he was kind of slipping and sliding. They had just watered the track. Again, he's on the Treader program, which is a harder tire in the 50s than the Slicks D20s here. Um, <laughs> but I guess there's more controversy. All the, all the, I have freaking 12 sets of these damn tires. Every one of the tires, Dural 44 to 40, 44 to 48. Yeah, you have certain spots you might hit like a 42, but the average is 44 to 48. And now we're getting told is they're supposed to be in the 50s, they're not Max's tires, so. Uh, anyways, whatever. Um, I don't know what's going on, whatever. Um, no lineup. You tie, the, you tie that into <laughs> last night, it's just, it's just crazy. But anyways, so Leona is out for her feature now. Uh, I added some cross to it. I've got very minor changes that I can do to it because of the, the type of body. It's a low, very low profile body. So uh, they got her on the pole. Interesting. So I'm going to send it to her. Wish the, lady, uh, wish the little one good luck and let's see what she can do. start on that restart holy cow <laughs> she's got it she's there uh, again we talked to her she asked how she could be um, not as scared and I basically said it's all comes down to comfortability is what this comes down to you get just getting comfortable and trusting the motor uh, once I get the right throttle linkage set up on this she'll she even be better she'll have proper throttle control so but I'm so proud of her she did fantastic all right everyone well I've been extremely busy uh, we ended up putting Corey's regular clutch back on his 206. Um, wondering if that other one was just slipping. Um, so we put his clutch back on. Uh, we added a, uh, five pounds of weight. 
and uh, we're gonna run the same air pressure. We're gonna send it and see what it does. Uh, old man, we left his chassis alone. Uh, actually, we didn't do anything to that one. So we're gonna send that one and see what it does. And I'm at the deck right now uh, for the old man's predator race. Uh, starts outside pole next to Riley. And uh, I made a clutch driver change and a rear gear change. So we'll see if we get a little more speed out of this and see if we can do anything with Riley. So he's, he's always fast. So um, Autumn's out there racing right now. She's looking pretty, she's looking really good. That motor is doing good. Just gotta keep working on her chassis. Uh, we also don't know gearing. We're trying to still figure out the gearing and her RPM range. Um, but uh, my opinion, that motor was a plus for us. So for honestly, three, four hundred dollars, we couldn't complain. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna send it uh, back down to Auto. So, wish uh, wish out of luck.
I don't know if the gear change helped or hurt him. I guess we'll have to find out. He might have been a little loose. I guess we'll have to see what he says. Uh, I'll have to look at the, the lap times from Heat 2 Heat and uh, Feature. Um, but congratulations to Riley. He's a good racer. And uh, he won himself 100 bucks tonight. So up next uh, is Sportsman's. Sportsman's. Thank you. Because we got one more class than them. And uh, Steven starts pole. Corey starts outside. Dad starts third. So we made our changes. We're gonna send it and see what they do. So I'll be back up and uh, up in the grid. Um, he told me the right under the gear change was the wrong way to go. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the, the driver what I got. And just go raise the rear gear accordingly. Uh, but good notes for for tonight going into the next time we race here with it. Uh, but up next, we got 206 Sportsman Racing. So we're gonna see how this goes. So wish the boys luck. Let's see what we can do.
was a good race. Crappy start. They got to work on their starts, man. Communication sucks. But uh, fantastic race. Corey was right there. Um, Stevens had him. I don't know if maybe we should have uh, maybe went, went back up the gear. I guess we'll have to talk to Corey, see what he says. But the chassis worked really good. Um, again, we're on a harder tire than everyone else. So, um, so yeah. So, the old man got third. Of course, he got screwed on that start. So, but he, he worked it, got his, got his third place. So, we podium both of them. I will take a second place. Congratulations, Stevens, on the win, bud. Uh, Corey said if he could, we should have went, went back up our gear that we went back down the track, slowed down a half a second. So he just, he didn't have enough pull. Stevens was pulling him down the straightaway. So, hey, live and learn, right? Live and learn. So Neil Mang, of course, like I said, got kind of screwed on the start. But he, I told him he was, got himself back third and worked hard for it. So I am now out of breath. I'm going to get to the pit, catch my breath, take some water, and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm walking to the track here. We're actually going to have Auto run the, jump on the track. She's got like 15 minutes to make some laps. So Corey's kind of working with her right now. But she's fast if we could just get her to run the groove. Uh, but again, it's just it takes it's mental. It takes time to, to get that. Um, talk to Corey. We, we missed on that gear. He had good runs, just not enough pull. Uh, he only spun at 5,800, so... We should have went back up the gear we started the night with. I always, I have a base gear I start with and then we adjust from there. Literally adjust one or two teeth basically. Um, so, and then dad, he was good too. They, they all, the top three, dad, Corey, and Stevens all turned 14.6 seconds. So if, if the start was better and it was communicated properly, those three would have had a good race. But, so, but, uh, Got Autumn out there, so I'm gonna watch her for a few laps here and see how she's doing. So I'll be back. So we've been going at it since 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. I'm on less than two hours of sleep. Uh, so I think we had a good night. We sent you back out there, like I stated before. Worked on her line, kind of got an idea of how the chassis now is working, how quick she is if she stays in the groove, right? Just saying. Just saying. Yep. And then the Momo he had a fun feature. Oh man, that was so fun. We were under geared, but it was still a good time. That's the part of racing I love, is trying to work to get around a guy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Just the, the, uh, yeah, trying to use their disadvantage to your advantage. Right. And, and then. I watch you change your your arc into one, and all of a sudden you just started reeling them back in. I was like, "Oh, we got something now!" <laughs> oh man! It, it, uh, excuse the language, but it's a brain fuck. It, it's a, a it's one thing I love about racing is it's it it works your brain and just trying to get around the guy. Sure. You know? Yeah. Just trying to figure out how to work it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So we're still doing good with the with the tread program here, right, Heidi? Yes, we are. True that. You want to roll? I think we made it with that weight change, huh? Kind of yeah. livened you up. That was a good call. We we were talking that you've been in the range of cross between sixty and sixty four percent. Yeah. And if I go one direction, it's too loose. If I go one other direction, yeah. it's too tight. So we went in the middle today. Yeah. And it was loose. You yeah. you lacked bite. So I said, you know what? I don't think it's an actual cross issue. Let's move some weight. So we moved the weight from the right front of your seat to the back. And you freaking took a freaking... And it was still good in the future, right? Yeah. So that'll be going in the notes. But I mean, to get around Jonathan, which fun to race with Jonathan. Yeah, I'm glad he's back behind the wheel. He's so a good guy. Yeah, yeah. So am I. Um, Jonathan Inglet, yeah. if everyone's asked, yeah. wondering. Um, it, it, I had to work it, and his faults were my faults, yeah. until I started slowing my entry. And once I started slowing my entry, <laughs> Shane, that clutch is what did it. Five hole clutch, everyone. That five hole clutch. When I rolled through that craft and got back on the power, that cart took right off. Yeah. It hooked up. And I was able to catch Jonathan just little by little. Yep. 
and then I had just had an awful run, and the first time, I wasn't going to stick it in there. I was right. But the second time I got up where he could see me, mm -hmm. and we went into the corner. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Uh, Shane? Yes. Shane Vivrog, uh, Fast Factory, 5 oak clutch. Yes. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, um, we're actually going to send him a fourth one. We got one more left, and we're going to get that done for autumn. Right. Yeah. 5 0. 5 0, baby. Yep. 5 0. Oh. So, as you see, they're breaking down the tents. We got three of these to do, 10 by 20s. Um, it's getting chilly, ain't it? I don't have a getting chilly I warm up huh oh yeah leave them outside so all right yeah put those 5 old clutches mother gunner so dude hit them up like for real heck yeah heck yeah so it's definitely stepped up our program yeah for sure yeah um had another good night tonight. Uh, had a blast. So, hey, like, subscribe, mm -hmm. ring that bell, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. and uh, follow us on uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Tic Tac. Tic Tac. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, love y'all. Hey, guess what we got coming up now? Clone racing. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be in the shop this week. I'll be, uh, we'll get some videos made. So, yeah. so all right. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, Thank you're you. going to love next week. All right. Thank you. Oh. Oh.